In this lesson, we're going to learn about the internal details of the 741 op amp. And the reason that we're going to do this is the 741 op amp has about every circuit that we've examined uh, thus far in this course, including DC biasing circuits and gain stages. So we're going to start by looking at what each of these transistors is doing. Some of these transistors are serving DC bias purposes and some of them are serving small signal gain purposes. So if we take another look at the 741 op amp, we can highlight DC bias transistors in red, as I've done here. So these are DC bias transistors. And we can highlight gain stage transistors in blue. And you notice that we see a lot of circuits that we've seen before. These diode connected transistors Q12 and Q11 are serving to create a reference current, IREF, that flows through this resistor R5. Q10 and Q11 form a Widlar current source. Q9 uh, is going to be fed that current and the current is going to be mirrored through Q8. I should label Q13B and 13A in red as well. These are DC bias transistors. And this is kind of a unique configuration, so we'll look at it next. If you notice, the transistor has one base and one emitter, but the collector is split into two different pieces. The way that we might draw this transistor is if we have an N minus region, we can put an N plus region inside of that N minus region. And this N plus region would be the base. Similarly, we can put an emitter This is a P and P transistor, so our emitter is going to be a P plus region. And then we would surround that emitter with our collector. We would put a P minus region here. And this would be collector one. And then we might make a second collector collector 2 that's also a P minus region. What we've done here is we've made it to where we have one collector that's three quarters the size uh, uh, of a full ring and the other collector that's one quarter the size of a full ring. And so what we've done is we've made the current through C1 collector 1 0.75 times the full current and the collector through Q2 or through C2 0.25 times whatever the full current is. In other words, whatever uh, current would normally be set by the base to emitter current, or base to emitter voltage uh, going through a full transistor will be split three quarters in the direction of C1 and one quarter in the direction of C2. Now this is equivalent to drawing two parallel transistors. So we're going to connect the emitter and the base of these PNP transistors. and assigning one of these transistors an IS1 that's equal to 0 0.75 times the IS of the whole transistor and the second transistor an IS2 that's equal to 0 0.25 times the saturation current of the transistor. And remember our relationship is I collector is equal to IS times E to the VBE over VT. And so we could say IC1 is equal to 0 0.75 times IS times E to the VBE over VT. And IC2 is equal to 0 0.25 times IS times E to the VBE over VT. Now let's start with our reference current. So we see here that we have a reference current that's equal to VCC minus 
2 times VBE, which come from the diode connections at Q12 and Q11, minus VEE divided by the reference resistance, which is 39 kilo ohms. And if we solve this, if we solve this, we find that this current is equal to 733 microamps. Now we have a Widlar current source where we know what the reference is and we know what the resistance in the emitter of the output transistor is. And solving for this Widlar current source, we would find that this current source is 19 microamps. Now, if you'll recall, this is our Q13 and Q13, uh, Q13A and Q13B form that parallel transistor that we just examined. And if uh, you remember, we had three quarters of the current going in one direction and three quarters of the current going in the other direction. So here, here we would have I2 equaling about 550 microamps and I3 equaling about 180 microamps. Okay, so we know what the reference current is, we know what our current uh, from our Widlar current source is, and we know what the currents through Q13A and 13B are. So after the DC biasing, we can simplify our circuit to the following. We have a reference current, 19 microamps, flowing through transistor Q9, this is going to be mirrored through Q8 and sent into the input stage. We have a current flowing through the, uh, the split uh, collector transistor, 550 microamps. It's going to be used to bias transistor Q17. And we have another portion of that current being split, 180 microamps, that's going to bias the two diodes, Q18 and Q19. All right, so we will stop there and pick up.